Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for joining me. It is Monday, November 25th, 2024. Um, early this morning at 2.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There was a magnitude 2.4 earthquake. Yeah, the Hayward Fault. You guys living there do know that you are past due for a major earthquake. When I seen the stadium close to this area, I thought of that other earthquake. And, yeah, all the people that were watching the game when it happened. Yeah, probably pretty scary. It was shallow, 2.6 miles in depth. 122 people sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. Here's the felt reports we got over here. Uh, three, uh, three, 112, uh, one, and then way up over here by Pleasanton, one. USGS gave an intensity level of four. Felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. Um, at night, yeah, it was at night. May have woken them up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles rocked noticeably. Thank you very much to those of you that sent your reports to EMSC. We have a report from Richmond. Said the earthquake was very sharp and quick. And then Berkeley. They said they felt it. Here on the UC Berkeley Seismological Lab, they got um, how back then in 2018, they commemorated the 150th anniversary of the 6.8 Hayward Fault earthquake. On October 21st, 1868, they had the magnitude 6.8. It killed five people and injured 30 with an estimated magnitude of a 6.8. Uh, it caused damage throughout the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Um, San Francisco alone suffered $350,000 in property damage. Yeah, what would that be worth today? It was considered the Great Earthquake until the earthquake of 1906. The Hayward Fault is a member of the San Andreas Fault that runs from the Gulf of California in the south to Cape Mendocino in the north. Currently, it is... Uh, considered the most dangerous fault in the Bay Area because it's so far overdue for a large earthquake. Yeah, how many overpasses would collapse? How many high-rises and apartment buildings would collapse? There'd be a lot of damage along certain areas of the shorelines because of liquefaction. The ground would turn into quicksand. You know, San Francisco is slowly sinking in to... Uh, the sea, I guess, or the ground. Uh, you can go to Army Street there in the uh, Mission area and look at the older buildings and their door frames, how they're now below uh, street level. Besides the uh, disconnect where you wouldn't be able to get a hold of emergency services, you would have fires. Of course, the loss of communication. Yeah, how long would you be on a, your own after a large earthquake? Are you prepared to be on your own during a large earthquake? Off over here is the location where they had, where they figured they had the uh, 7.9 earthquake in 1906. Yeah, it was considered a super shear rupture. That means the uh, movement of the fault was faster than the speed of sound. Has the building that you live in been retrofitted? So many buildings there in the Bay Area. Are, are what's called soft structures, where they have large open space underneath the uh, living quarters above. Very susceptible to collapse during a large earthquake. So many people just poo-poo, ignore these smaller earthquakes. The smaller earthquakes are indication that a larger one um, is coming eventually. It's an indication that pressure has built for that fault line to uh, pop, to rupture. We know that uh, man-made earthquakes are very capable nowadays by different governments. Could this be um, an area that would be targeted by some uh, government, a state player, to cause a large earthquake? With that cap 
capability. I wouldn't be surprised if the scenario hasn't crossed their minds. So I would like to know, did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? What was the uh, movement like? Here on the moment tenter ball, it looks like the fault line dipped down going towards the south. Um, yeah, basically south. You know, large earthquakes just don't happen and bam. No, they rattle on sometimes up to three minutes when you're being shaken back and forth. Uh, maybe three feet or more for that entire, maybe two to three minutes. Back and forth, back and forth. And you wonder, is the shaking going to stop? Yeah, um, there would be no power to plug in your electric cars. No power to uh, get people out of elevators. You would have broken water lines, so no water to put out fires. And no phones to call for help. Are you prepared? Put your, your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. Please be prepared for a disaster. You just don't know when it's going to happen. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.